it's not a walk in the park or a bed of roses on this side of life. We want to live a life that is fulfilling of our purpose and that makes an impact to why we are here in this world. But as we grow older, things change. Our bodies, our minds, the things that we need to pay attention to. In today's video, I will be sharing with you important numbers we need to watch out for as we grow older. Hello everyone, my name is Dia Kola. Welcome to today's video. On this channel, this side of life, we look at life, living, uh, faith and finances for those who are Generation X and older. If you are interested in this type of topics, be sure to sub subscribe, uh, like, share and hit the notification bell so you can uh, see my videos when I upload them. Thank you so much for joining me today. By the end of this video, <clears throat> I would have shared with you five important numbers you need to watch out for as you move beyond your 40s and your 50s on this side of life. Let's dive into the video. For most of us, when we were younger, we felt invincible. We were healthy, strong, and ready to go anytime. I don't think I ever thought about, you know, doing a doctor's uh, annual checkup or anything like that when I was younger. But as we grow older, in order to stay healthy and strong, there are certain numbers that become increasingly important to watch and monitor. Let us call these numbers our wellness numbers. So today, we are going to go over five of them and also some tools that we should keep handy to help us uh, watch and monitor these numbers. So get your pen and paper ready. The first number we need to monitor is our blood pressure number. Hmm, you know, systolic, diastolic. We really need to watch this, especially uh, for black uh, Africans and and uh, people of color who are more susceptible to high blood pressure. As you know, high blood pressure is a leading cause of heart attacks and the causes of high blood pressure include uh, a diet that's high in salt, fat and cholesterol. The good news though is that high blood pressure can be controlled by diet, uh, exercise and also medication if required. But it all starts with knowing what your number is. You can easily monitor your blood pressure at home. All you need is a home blood pressure monitor. I have one that I use and uh, I'm able to check my blood pressure every day. And it, has, it comes with an app that helps me to log the numbers automatically. I don't have to do anything. It just uh, uploads into the app and keeps a history for you so you know you know, how your blood pressure is doing. Is it uh, stabilizing? Are you controlling it? Or is it going uh, too high? And this will help your doctor or healthcare professionals as well because you can provide them with the numbers and that helps them to, uh, you know, manage your, your health when you go to see them. The second wellness number you need to watch is your blood sugar level. What is that number for you? Make sure you know and that it is within the normal range for your age. As you know, high sugar levels are, can cause diabetes and many other health issues. Just like your blood pressure, you can also measure your uh, sugar levels at home with uh, home monitors. This will help you to know when there is a spike or a dip that needs to be controlled. My mom uh, is always uh, measuring her blood, uh, blood level, uh, sugar levels with uh, a home monitor. And she will always tell me, oh, 
Oh my brush sugar level is high today. I have to stop eating, you know, I have to watch what I eat today. So yeah, so that helps uh, with uh, keeping the sugar levels in control. The third wellness number is your calories. This is the interesting one. Calories in, calories out. Your calories in is uh, half of what determines, you know, how much you weigh. And we know that uh, our weight is a very important factor uh, regarding our health. We need to keep at a healthy ourselves at a healthy weight. We can no longer eat those big bowls of food and just eat anything fried or, you know, sugar, you know, carbs. We just have to eat, do everything in moderation. That's what I always say. Moderation is the key, you know, when we when we uh, as far as our health goes so the other half is your calories out how much how how many calories do you burn in a day how often do you exercise and work out um, when you work out it increases your heart rate and keeps your heart healthy and it also burns calories uh, which keeps helps you to control your weight you don't need to go to the gym, you know, every day or be a, you know, like a gym rat or anything like that. But try and make sure that you have at least 30 minutes of exercise every day so that you can keep your calories under control and your weight under control. I use a Fitbit. There are so many devices out there today. I use a Fitbit. Um, to monitor my uh, calories, my uh, um, exercise, and other measures. The Fitbit comes with an app that helps you log all these uh, numbers. And many of these uh, fitness devices also have communities, which I find very uh, useful to help you in your in, in, in your motivation like you, you get motivation from these communities and you can also uh, get accountability partners because sometimes the, what we lack is somebody to keep us accountable to you know exercising every day and watching what we eat and all that and so these uh, mobile, mobile devices uh, fitness devices come with communities that can also be useful to us as we go uh, on our journey to become and stay healthy. Following closely behind uh, your calorie numbers is your body mass index. You can calculate this by finding your weight in kilograms divided by your height in meters squared. And you can also Google, there are so many BMI calculators on the internet if your BMI is 25 or bigger, then you are considered overweight and you need to um, try and bring that uh, down by, you know, reducing <laughs> your weight because, of course, you cannot uh, increase your height <laughs> at this age. <laughs> but, you know, you can work on your, on your weight and reduce the weight so that the BMI becomes uh, in, a, in a normal range. We know that you know when we are overweight, we that is uh, a risk for such diseases as heart heart disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes. So the BMI is a very important wellness number that we need to watch and monitor. So what is your BMI number? I am working on mine. I mean, I am not perfect. <laughs> if you follow me on this channel. You will be able to see how I am progressing on keeping my BMI under control. The last wellness number we will look at today is your sleep number. What is your sleep number? How many hours of sleep do you get? You know, insufficient sleep can cause excess body weight, diabetes, increased risk of heart problems, you know, high blood pressure and stress. While healthy sleep can, 
can really, really enhance your well-being. And so we need to get enough sleep. There are devices that you can use to track your sleep and know whether or not you are getting enough sleep. I believe that uh, I try to sleep uh, seven to eight hours every night. I find it very difficult to sleep during the day, so I try to get in seven or eight hours of sleep at night. I'll the, I also use my Fitbit as well to monitor my sleep because it does have a, a sleep monitor. So it tells you how many hours you are sleeping and what kind of sleep you are getting, whether you are getting the deep sleep or you know you are just getting more of the light sleep. And you know anything that you measure, then you can manage like they tell us. So that's why all these devices are important because they help you to measure you know, the the wellness uh, factor that you that you're looking at, like your blood pressure, your blood sugar level, your calories, and your sleep. And when you are able to measure, then you can manage it better. With Christmas coming up, you can invest in your own well-being by getting yourself one of these tools to measure and monitor your wellness numbers. Do comment below and let me know if there are other numbers that you uh, track or monitor to keep healthy and let us know how that is going for you. Thank you so much for joining me today and please comment and share and subscribe and hit the notification bell and also join me in the next video. I will leave you with some sights and sounds of the season. Do have a joyful and healthy Christmas and a very happy new year. Bye.